In this video, we are going to see about the serial transfer. A digital system is said to operate in serial mode when information is transferred and manipulated one bit at a time. So, if we are uh, shifting from one resistor to another resistor a uh, bit by bit, then we call it as a serial transfer. So, here we assume that some content is already there in the shift resistor A. So, what happens? Clock and shift control both should be 1 in order to make this circuit function which is given as a clock pulse for both the shift resistors and here output of shift resistor A is given as input of shift resistor A again in order to preserve the value which is already there in resistor A and at the same time for every clock pulse 1 bit by 1 bit it will move from resistor A that is to resistor A. B. Okay, this is how the serial transfer functions. So, let us consider an example like this. Shift resistor A have 1011 and initially we assume that shift resistor content is 0. So, first clock pulse T1 I am giving. So, what happens? Resistor B contents moves towards right and resistor A contents also moves towards Right. So, LSB of A is moved towards MSB of B here. And you can see that LSB of resistor A becomes again MSB of shift resistor A. Like this, after T1, we'll have the contents like 1101 and 1000. And after T2, we'll have the contents in the following fashion. Now after 3, 3, after T4, now you can see for a 4 bit resistor after 4 clock pulses, the content of shift resistor A is preserved because of that feedback connection and we can also see that the it is moved to shift resistor B. Okay, this is how the serial transfer operation functions. Now we will see serial transfer implementation using Logisim. This is a shift control and this is a clock pulse. First I will load the values into the resistor A by keeping this load input. I will just make it as 1101 and give the clock pulse. Shift control to be 1 and you can see thus 1101 is given into A. Now I have to make this load 0 and if I just keep giving the clock pulses after 4 clock pulses you can see that A is similar to B and this feedback shows that A will be restored. Now for the first clock pulse uh, this one will be moving to LSB of B and also to MSB of A. You can see that. And now for the next clock pulse, 0 will be moved to B and MSB of A. So the next one, the next one. So the number we have loaded is 1101. You can see that now A and B are having both 1101. This is how the serial transfer takes place. That is 1 bit by 1 bit we are shifting from one resistor to the other resistor.